Okay, this is round two. Uh, it didn't cut me off, though. That's good news. My battery might die, though, so who knows? We'll see. I think it goes without saying, though, that you have pretty much made the last three years of my life pretty amazing. So thank you. We have spent a lot of time together, and like you said, we have had the up and the downs, but I think everybody has that. Um, we've been on top for most of it, which is always good, and we've done so much. I mean, how many people can say they've been on a plane with a friend, they've been on a road trip, um, that they've seen the Grand Canyon ever, but with their best friend. Been to the opposite coast, um, survived racing to Daytona, survived getting lost on the way home from Daytona, going to shows, just deciding after school, hey, let's go to House of Blues, you know, when it was not cool to go to shows, and no, we went to shows, and we could just show up at the social with, like, five bucks in our hand, and I have to buy, like, a $40 ticket, ticket master. Um, oh, and my tattoo, um, I haven't told you, I don't think, but how many people at work ask me about my tattoo, and you know, I see, like, a hundred people or more a day, and they always ask me what it means, and what's we'll the story behind it, and every response is awe, like a genuine awe, and they're really surprised that I would do something so permanent, um, and that's the only way I can think describe it, because tattoos are permanent, but um, I think getting a name tattoo is like the curse of death, or curse of death, whatever it is, I don't know the expression. But this is totally different, and I think we should add to it. Maybe get a couple green hearts, which I'm wrapping right now, but they're um, done by this market car called Scribble, and it's like a ripoff of Sharpies, except it causes your limbs to go numb. Yeah, don't ask. It's very. Yeah, so I might have my hand amputated after this, but just for you. And um, my awesome nail polish paint job that I chipped off. But, um. Yeah. I'm sad to say that I haven't watched Fight Club in a long time or touched the book. Um, I don't know if I told you that I bought Friday Monster. It's really boring. Hopefully, the movie's better. That's another thing. I haven't been to the movies for so long. And I'll do work. It's not the same about you guys, so I think you should move back and we'll be roommates and we'll get somebody else to be a mediator when it's needed. And we can have our own little fortresses in each room and then if we're sick of each other, just go in there. Problem solved. Yeah, um, I'm really, really excited to send your package because one of them is going to be super cute. I mean, that's not going to be cute, but they will all mean something. And I still have cards for your birthday that I never got around to sending, which I have to find. Um, and those are cute, too. They're probably not as many as you're going to send me, since you like the creative cards. And writing the letters, like, throughout all five of them, the same letter continue. But that's okay. So... Yeah. I don't know, I miss you a lot, and today, I mean, it's just a day, I mean, it's a big day for us, but like, I feel really emotional today, and I'm trying not to cry, I played the format this morning and just started crying, because it reminded me of the days that we would skip school, and drive basically to nowhere, and get lost, and we'd find our way home, and go to the park, and the format seemed to be the ones we played a lot, with gravy train, and red jumpsuit and you know it's strange we didn't know the lyrics at first and now i can't even remember, remember the wrong lyrics which is weird um we have a lot of things to do and i feel like this is like the last one test now but it's not we have so much to you know so do and experience and we haven't even been out of the country yet so i think that should be our next thing go to europe to help me. and maybe run into um Exchange student. Because she's your favorite. Don't let your mom watch this. She was nice though. And, uh, I don't know. I think Chameleon Air's car crash in this song is completely wrong with this video. So I think I'm gonna move on to something else and figure out what else to say to you.